Edo People's Democratic Party, PDP, don't hold one talk talk session to choke mat on top the news where they go round say the Federal High Court for Abuja don't nullify the party's governorship candidacy of Aswe Ngodalo. The Director General of Aswe Ngodalo Campaign Council, Honorable Mate Dwayekeme, on behalf of the party, can talk say the Federal High Court for Abuja where Justice Eko preside on July 4, 2024, make judgment claiming say some authentic delegates they wrongly excluded for the party primaries to choose the governorship candidate. Honorable Mate Consti talk say the decision not go affect the party in any way as them be law abiding people and they go make sure say their candidate get justice for court. A compromise PDP supporters and members of the party say the rumor not go stop their campaign activities. Honorable Marty Dwayne, you can make constant talk, say. Well, today, which is uh, the 4th of July, 2024, uh, the Federal High Court in Abuja presided over no other person than Justice Equa entered the judgment in the suit number Federal High Court Abuja slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 of 2024, a case which was filed by one Honorable Kelvin Mohammed and two others versus INEC and three others. It was filed by some of them, disgruntled persons who claimed that they were authentic delegates. I want you to take note of that. Authentic delegates wrongly excluded from participating in the choice of the People, People's Democratic Party flag bearer in the forthcoming gubernatorial elections in Edo State. In a strange development, and contrary to a long line of appellate court decision on this subject, the Honorable Justice heard that the issue of what Congresses and choice of the delegates is a justiciable matter which the court is entitled to look, to look into. Well, I want everybody in this place to know that in this state, especially PDP in Edo State, we have a history with Justice Equa. You all recall that in the last elections where I contested as the senatorial candidate of the party, the same Justice Equa was the one who was giving, who kept giving judgments, even when he knew that the court had no jurisdiction on the issue of party primaries. He went ahead to give judgments. But the law being the law, the appellate courts reversed all those decisions and the decisions of the appellate courts were further upheld at the Supreme Court. I would have been very, very surprised if Justice Equa had done something different. Because there were other cases that border on the primaries and pre-election matters primary matters that have been in the same federal record, courts of coordinate jurisdiction, and they've all been decided civilly dealt with, and they've all been struck out. So looking at the style of Justice Equa, this is a man who recently, the NJC, not only did they issue inquiries, they barred him from being elevated to the higher bench because of all this is kind of judgments that is given. As a matter of fact, these kind of judges are the ones that we all know are uh, Akara and Bole judges. They are judges that you can predict and, det and know exactly what will be the outcome when a particular uh, you know, group approaches them for judgment. The continued stay of judges like Equa within the judicial system of Nigeria will, unless if those people are completely removed, will continue to be a threat to our democracy. The wishes and the will of the people cannot be subjected to the determination of one man who sits in one office because he has been made a judge and is now free to take any decision that he wants to take. But the good thing in this is that this new decision that they made, as far as we are concerned, will not survive the test of time because yes, sir. Yes, sir. every yes, step sir. to pursue it at the higher courts, at the appellate courts, even if we have to get to the Supreme Court, we are 
on that path because we are law abiding people who will follow the path of the law and we will ensure that at the end of the day our candidate not only get justice in the courts but our, our candidate will also get victory by the people of Edo State because we will not relent in our campaigns. We will continue to reach out to our people. We will continue to sell our candidates and we will continue to tell them what we have in store for them as Edo people. I want all of us to also know that the claim that this judgment which arose that it has nullified the candidacy of our candidates is complete falsehood. It has in no way or it will challenge the outcome of the party primaries which produce the candidates of the PDP for the forthcoming elections. The net result, therefore, is that contrary to the stories making the rounds, spread by mischief makers, I saw some of them dancing in the video and were saying or phoning or phoning, instead of them to go about and tell Edo people and Nigerians how they can bring down the prices of food items that the common man can no longer afford, which is one of the things that we are points as a political party to do to reduce poverty and hunger in our land. I'm saying to everybody dancing and drinking champagne or phoning, we have finished it without campaigning. Instead of selling your candidate, you know you do not have a marketable candidate. You think that these are the times in Nigeria where you can procure judgment and manipulate the judiciary to get the electoral victory. We know that at the end of all these things, Edo people will be the victors for it because our candidate is ready to take Edo State to the next level of progress like I've always said yes, sir. and nothing is going to stop us from achieving that goal. I want to appeal to all our supporters and our party members, remain calm, continue with your campaign, continue to sell Aswe Igodalo is the next phase of Edo and by the grace of God it will take us to that political El Dorado, where every Edo person will be proud to say, I was a part of the process that has taken Edo to the place where Edo becomes the most secure state in this country, the most peaceful state in this country, and the most prosperous state in Nigeria. So I want to assure every one of us that we've had other cases in court, even at this period, and they've all been thrown away by the same federal high court. So just to say, call, and the likes of him do not have a place in our judicial system. And the National Judicial Council should so note. Make on another forget say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know they take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ujisele, TMC TV News.